Welcome back everybody to the Easy Easy Street Game and we've got a new Clash of Clans video coming out. This is on the miners and hog riders. We just had a minor event. We had we got the miners in, in Town Hall 10 really cheap. I think it was like 400 el elixir for miners, which was which was great. Uh, give a little history on the miners. The miners were the elite troop in Clash. You, uh, Town Hall 11s were on automatic pilot. They would put in 48 miners and a bunch of heal spells and wipe out pretty much any base they wanted to. Uh, they got a pretty severe nerf. There's my interruption. I have to do this every single video. I have to have some kind of idiotic interruption. It's my alarm. It's actually 5.30 a.m. To show the dedication of easy or the insanity i don't know whatever you want to call it uh so going back to it uh yeah miners were an elite troop they got a pretty bad nerf and they were just eliminated completely from the game no one used them anymore i lost players we, we lost one of our best players into obscurity because he was so focused on miners and then after the minor nerf, he didn't have an attack and he had a lot it took him a long time to try to figure out how to play again <laughs> Trying to use other troops so it can be detrimental to, to players that that rely on certain troops But now since then there's been um, Several adjustments made to the miners and now they're back and, and I think they're a, they're a pretty even troop They have to be used in combination with other troops. They're no longer a solo troop You can't put in 48 miners and expect a three-star Town Hall 10 or a Town Hall 11. And matter of fact, this entire video minus one attack. I, I did get one t one higher level um, Town Hall attack in in this video, but these are all Town Hall 9 attacks where you're just using the miners in the Clan Castle. And what we were doing was using the miners and the Hog Riders together. So these are two troops that have very similar talents, very similar. Um, they 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 attack in a very similar way. Only difference is Hog Rider is a defense only troop and the miners will go after everything. But they both avoid the walls. They're both pretty quick. They both have a pretty good punch. And they you need to do the same thing for them too. They they both rely heavily on the heal spells to, to stay alive. But if used right, and especially in Town Hall 9, they are really strong troops. I was impressed with how well the miners worked. I didn't use them like I did in the past. In the past, I've used miners, and I've used a kill squad. I've cleared out a bunch of, of the base with the kill squad, put the miners in at the end, used two or three heal spells on the miners, and they were able to take out the base. If I took out a, a good third of the base first, along with several objectives. In this video, you'll you'll notice that I deployed the hog riders in large groups. I didn't deploy them a uh, surgical deployment at all. And I deployed the miners with the hog riders. So I try to put them both in at the same time try to put them both in, in very similar parts of the base and That's what worked best and I try to use the same heal spell to cover both the miners and the hog riders and Whenever I did that I three-starred I mean this is that simple if I was able to keep the hog riders and the miners in the heal spell at the same time It the, the base just crumbled beneath me so in this in this attack here, this wasn't a max base, but it had max defenses. The walls weren't max, but again, walls aren't aren't even a factor when when you're dealing with hog riders or or miners. So um, in Town Hall Nine, you have four large spells and, and and one half spell, and plus the Clan Castle half spell. So we were bringing one rage spell and three heals. And Town Hall Nines, you know that they, they have fairly large bases. But with four spells, you can cover almost the whole base with four heal spells if you brought four. I, I was bringing one rage because I wanted to use that one rage on the on the initial kill squad. I was I was using two different um, kill squads. I was using either twelve or thirteen giants with healers and wizards, or I was using three Pekka. Both of them were just as effective. Uh, the giants and healers. Uh, th that's a, that's probably one of the most popular attack strategies when, when farming because the giants aren't too pricey and they and they're so stout now you know giants have a lot of attention has been paid to giants and they're now being used in war a lot they're definitely used in a lot of farm raids so you know great troop and now and this here let's see the troops we use in this
Okay, this is actually King Dad's attack. This is one of the guys from GB Elite. I uh, wanted to show his attack. I asked everyone while I was still in GB. We're, I'm back in damage now. We did a big war with GB Elite at 50-50. Another win for us. Great weekend for everyone. Uh, King Dad is one of the guys from GB that's on the whole weekend. He's like a, one of the ambassadors for GB between GB and Damage Inc. Just uh, one, what a great what a great asset to the clan. Um, great guy. One of the one of the guys that we just love having uh, in our clan, and we like being in there uh, with him. So um, I, I was I told him that I told everyone there that we were doing this minor video, and he was one of the first ones to be able to pop up on a, a good attack with miners. Now what he did was he used uh, he uses a queen walk, and then he uh, I believe he used a queen walk and and uh, a whole bunch of uh, of wizards. He used he used giants in the clan castle, and he did what I he actually did exactly what I used to do with with minor attacks. He went in with the kill squad, which was actually the clan castle with giants and, and a whole bunch of wizards, and wiped out about half the base with it. And then came in after, and he brings in all these miners, and the mi and then brings them in the base. Instead of bringing them into the base into a fresh part of the base, he brings them in a base that the part of the base he's already cleared out, so he knows he's already got all the giant bombs taken care of, so he doesn't have to worry about all that. So they come in the part of the base that he's already cleared out. They all hit the core of the base about at the same time, and they hit like eight eight structures at once, or or maybe nine structures at once. They take out those nine structures really fast. Then he puts the heal spells on top of them. Then they combine combine down to like seven structures or six structures. Then down to five structures. And then, you know, by the time they get down to the end, you have this giant group of, of, of miners just clearing out the last four or five uh, structures. So it was just, a, you know, that that looked like kind of the, the, the miners of old, how, how, how strong they were here. Not the hardest base, but just uh, just another great attack with miners wanted to show this attack because you can still attack Town Hall 10 bases and even Town Hall 11 bases um, if they're not completely maxed out or if you use very good strategy with them uh, in this case he was just able to use strategy over the power of a Town Hall 10 and cleared out a bunch of the base and then used the miners at the end <laughs> but going back to a Town Hall 9 attack this looks like one uh, a version of one of the Jake bases uh, there's probably about a million bases out there kind of like this that has the double walls in the center of the base and then has that big circle going around the core of the base and the troops like to go around that that center core so what I did was I used that to, my, to our advantage here um, and this attack here instead of using the Giants and the healers we used uh, the heroes with healers and three Pekka and sent them intentionally sent them around that center circle and as the Pekka were going around the bottom part of the circle, deployed all of the Hog Riders and the Clan Castle with Miners in it, and kept all that big group of troops going around the core with the heal spell. And we were just waiting for them to take out, you know, that outer circle, and then just basically they're just going to take the core when they get done. Uh, now the Hog Riders ended up jumping in before they took out the uh, the outer core. Um, I believe they jump in and out a couple times. Um, now, as soon as the miners hit the core, I actually just diverted one of the heal spells to the core, and they ended up taking out everything in the middle. So you have the, you know, you have miners and you have hog riders. The walls don't affect either one of the troops, so you, you know you have potential for them to go pretty much anywhere. So you know all the little tricks with the walls and all, all, all of um, you, some, you know, with 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 regular troops, you can put in a double wall somewhere. And that might divert the troops away from any of your key targets in the core. Not quite the same with hog riders or miners. They just go where they want. I know it's the same law of attraction with them. They go to the closest to either defense or closest building. So, once again, I think I did 10 attacks in Town Hall 9. And I three-starred every single base that I should have. There was a couple of there was a couple of bases that I attacked that were high-level Town Hall 10s. But there was so many resources on it that I just went after the went after the loot. Didn't worry about the three stars. Didn't really expect a three star. Um, but on every base that I attacked, that it was a town hall nine. I think I three starred every one of them. And I now I had never really focused on a minor hog rider attack before. Even though I kind of knew that ho ho miners and hog riders may work well together, and I think I've seen. Um, I haven't really watched, but I think I've seen other videos put out on it. But doing it myself, this is a great attack. 
Um, it's not cheap necessarily. I mean, this isn't the, like a, the ultimate cheap farm raid where you can just go out and and, and kill it on Dark Elixir, but um, this might even be a viable uh, war attack on the right base. Now, this this attack again, we used three Pekka. We used a, a small group of Pekka with wizards behind him on the bottom of the base. We used the heroes and uh, and healers in the top part of the base. And we just cleaned out those two corners, the uh, the bottom left corner, I mean, sorry, the bottom right corner and the top right corner. And as soon as those two corners were cleared out, we put in a large group of, of hog riders and all in the clan castle with miners right there in the core. And they're just going to plow right through the middle of this base. Those walls don't matter. Um, we're going to try to keep them inside the heal spell. Remember, when you're using hog riders, you're using miners, you, wanna put, you don't want to put the heal spell on top of them. You want to put the heal spell right in front of them. And really put the heal spell over key defenses because, you know, as they're getting through these defenses, the defenses may double and triple team up on them, and they will get through the defenses. But you want to keep the you want to keep the heal spell over the defenses and try to lead the troops with them. You see right there, the troops weren't really even in that area, and the and the heal spell went down. They jump into the heal spell, and now they're inside the heal spell for the entire time that they're taking out those last defenses. No, I mean this is nothing new. Anyone that uses hog riders, that's what you use. That's how you do it. Um, so I was impressed. Didn't expect. I, I really didn't. I wanted to do this the video on the miners because we had the minor event. I'm trying to do a video on every one of the different troops or or, or spells or whatever that we have in the events. I was actually really impressed. Um, I hadn't used miners in a while. Uh, didn't realize how good they would be just just a handful of them in a clan castle But we just three starred several decent bases with it. So I was impressed with it. So Hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys are out there and you're in Town Hall 9 try it yourself Bring 10 or 12 hog riders bring a clan castle full with miners and see what see how you do Leave me a comment down in the comment section sub if you haven't subbed yet like the video if you like the video Got another video coming up. I'm gonna have to wait till after work. No, I'm gonna be late. Sorry guys uh, till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.